Hey, welcome back everyone uh, for our fifth episode of our Jesus Is series. This will be the last episode of this series for this week, but we'll be back on Monday with our next big idea. But today we're going to be wrapping up this big idea of Jesus Is God. We would encourage you, if you have not already, uh, check out yesterday's post. Uh, episode four, the, the title of it is If Jesus Is God. Check that out and do that activity if you have not already. But if you did check that out already, then you would have already done the sticky note activity and you already took a picture of both the before If Jesus Isn't God sticky notes. And then you also took a picture of If Jesus Isn't God. You took a picture of that those sticky notes on top of those as well so kind of get back in that frame of mind as as we're talking about this i've got one more question for you yesterday we were talking about what if jesus isn't god and and that stuff like what does it mean for our lives and then we also followed up with if jesus is god then what does what does that mean for our lives <clears throat> well i've got one more question for you this time i'm not going to have you write this on the sticky note but i will have a challenge for you right afterwards so let's assume that Jesus is God, like he claimed to be. We've talked about what we can or what we, we should do differently if Jesus is God. So here's my real question for you today. If Jesus is God, then what will you actually do about it? If Jesus really is God, then it should change everything about our lives and everything about our faith. Maybe knowing Jesus is God has already changed your life. And maybe you're not sure what you think about this yet. But no matter where you are on your journey of faith, I hope that this week, through this short series, you're a you were able to hear and maybe you can consider how one claim can change your whole life. If it's true that Jesus is God. This is what I want you to do. We're actually going to encourage you to post those two pictures that we put, took yesterday. The pictures of if Jesus isn't God and Jesus is God. We're gonna have you post those on Instagram or on Facebook or whatever social media platform you want. We'll have some text in the, in the notes below. If you wanna just copy and paste that, that's awesome. If you wanna write your own, that's great. It'll be along the lines of this. My student ministry at church did this activity this week where we wrote out what it would, what life would be like if Jesus wasn't God. And the first picture is what I feel like my life would be like. But we didn't stop there. The second picture that I post, that was what I feel like life is because Jesus is God. And that's it. There'll be a few hashtags we want you to throw in there as well so that we can follow this, so we can talk, continue this conversation later. But we want you, we're gonna challenge you, maybe push a little bit, maybe be a little bit more vulnerable online than you have before. But today we're gonna challenge you to post these things because here's the truth. Jesus is God and we want you to do something about it. This is one small step in the direction that God wants to lead you. It doesn't just end at posting on social media, but it actually is a life devoted to following him. Because here's the thing, if Jesus is God, if that's the claim, and if that's true, it means everything. Here's my question. Then. Who do you say Jesus is? And if he is who he claims to be, how does that change your life? Guys, thanks for checking out this series. Um, it means a lot to us that you're uh, still wanting to be involved in, in what it means for us to be connected in this weird time. Uh, we encourage you to continue to subscribe to our channel if you have not already and like this video uh, and share it with some other people so that more and more students in our area can, can be a part of this small movement that's starting small that will continue to grow of Jesus infiltrating our community. Guys, thank you so much for checking this video out. We'll see you later.